Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. Hey guys, I'm Jerry. We're checking out the trailer for a Bill Murray Bruce Willis comedy called Man. Rock the Caspar. Yeah, just like the Clash song. I you, hope they include the song in the trailer. You had me, oh, they will. You had me at Bill Murray, and you kind of love, like, I'm not big on Bruce Willis right now, man. I don't think anyone is. Like, I don't think Bruce Willis is big on Bruce Willis. Yeah, I'm like, why do you keep showing up for these movies? Man? Like, he likes the money, that's why. Yeah, but you don't look like you want to be there. Like, it seems no, like he, he would have enough money. He said in interviews that he's bored. I want to be the one to write Die Hard 6. I'm gonna do some crazy shit with that script. It should take place at, like, the biggest strip club, and he has to get strippers out of there alive. It's like a 12-story strip club. Yeah. <laughs> now, the next one's about his nephew, who doesn't want to be a McLean. <laughs> I am Richie Lance. It's a real pleasure. Um, time for a crazy story. I was a rock tour manager, and this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh. I'm supposed to tour with my act. To Afghanistan? You will play in front of 2,000 horny soldiers. I'm gonna hurl. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I can't tell if you're vomiting or laughing. <laughs> I would really appreciate a junior executive suite, definitely off the street. Huh? Rise and shine. Ah! Your girl's gone. She stole my wallet, my money, my passport. I'm royally screwed. Welcome to Afghanistan. Nice to be here. So that's what it's like over there. What the hell am I doing here? Richie Lance, talent manager. How y'all doing, guys? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <laughs> Back at you, babe. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle! Yeah. There's got to be a reason for this. Ninja, this has got to be fate. I must go to Kabul. I must see. Okay, but I'm going to want 20%. All right, back in the trunk. I'm kidding. Thank you. Thank you very much. Barry Levison directed it. Um, I don't like the tra like the trailer. I feel like there could be a good movie in there. I'm not really big on that as a trailer. Though. Yeah, um, like, I want to like. It's a really obvious. Trailer. I want to be appealed to it, but the jokes kind of sucked a lot. And they weren't funny. I mean. The, the only really intriguing thing to me about this is, you know, like, uh, there's something that's always interesting about Bill Murray to watch. Mm -hmm. He does seem to be doing more of a character than just depressed, dry guy, <laughs> you know? It's cool to be seeing that. Um, I like when Bruce Willis has a little bit more fun. He's in one shot of this trailer. He's in one shot of this trailer. <laughs> but... And he, he's sitting down, leaning against a wall. Like <laughs> He might be having fun, but it's like a very relaxed kind of Well, thing. this is a clearly a comedy, though. What just happened, and Bruce Willis played himself in that movie, and Bruce Willis had a lot of fun with that. And that wasn't that long ago when that came out. It's been like seven years since that came out, so I remember liking Bruce Willis in that. Barry Levinson's a good director. He did You Don't Know Jack, which I really liked for HBO. And the cast is cool too i like zoe deschanel she's fucking hot she kind of feels out of place in this she movie. just disappeared like i know she's like that she's playing a musician again of course yeah she's kate hudson she, well she is a musician my girlfriend's in the other room right now but kate hudson this is my impression of kate hudson hanging out with ryan wright Choking on my penis. No, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that was I, the joke. I figured that out. That I, I didn't joke. think you were reenacting the scene from Identity. I like to respect women. Hey, man, there was no Clash song. I know we were so there wrong. There was no we. We were so wrong. I said I hope. You're like they will. Yeah, you I, were I was so you wrong. You were wrong. It didn't right. really fit in this trailer, though. I mean, there's no, like... Yeah, a lot of things don't fit in this trailer. I hope it's a better movie than it is a trailer. It just has that same type of, like, foreigners or strange type of thing, and it just they're trying to make Afghanistan, like, a funny backdrop for all this. Every clip they chose for this trailer was, like, a good start clip that needed to be followed up by, like, something 
that took it bigger and made it more, you know, interesting and it was just a bunch of like start out clips. Yeah. See, my concern is this, it's a comedy and comedies tend to do something that I hate, which is they show the best jokes in the trailer. Then every once in a while, a comedy comes out and you're like, hey, the best jokes weren't in the trailer. Hmm. I'm hoping it's like that for this movie. Hopefully, I mean, and this also seems like the kind of movie that's not like, whoa, like it seems like context and, and you know, the rhythm of scenes will help the comedy and it's harder to get that kind of humor out in a trailer like this. What I will say too is that it takes place in Afghanistan so we could get a really funny beheading scene. That's not gonna happen. Not That'd be funny. No. Imagine no. Bill Murray getting we, beheaded. Nah, I don't First want First he got to. killed in Zombieland as a zombie. Now, psh, behead him. Nope. I'm not even nope. gonna pick that one up and dribble it for you. You don't like the territory this joke's mm, going now? No, not really. Right. Anyway, guys, not thanks for tuning in to The Real Rejects. Shut up, I'm doing the outro. Sorry. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. You can check out Reasons to Jerry and Dank Ass Stubs on this channel. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Vine. Because if we get enough followers, we can get product placement. Meaning, Loads of butt ass cash for us. <laughs> what did you just say? And you, it's like you opened up a closet that was too full of words and just some words fell out. Don't mock my vocabulary, you horny son of a bitch. Jordan Eminenti? Eminente. Eminente. Oh. Can I get a shout out for being a longtime subscriber? Sure, Thank you. Jordan Eminente. Thank Here's you. Here's your shout out. I am so happy that you decided to subscribe. You know, Jordan Eminente, um, him and I used to go to the local strip club together. Yeah. Is that African American so? strip clubs. He was really into black chicks. And, uh, Isn't there usually like a mixture of, of different ethnicities at most strip clubs? No, this one was primarily black chicks. He, you know, like he, one of them was a prostitute. Do you want to see my impression? No, of I don't. The prostitute and him hanging out of Jordan, Mello, and oh. Nante. It went like this. No gag reflex. It was amazing. She's good at her job. You got lucky. <laughs>